What's up everybody and welcome back to yet another Angler X video. It's late summer and I'm targeting sunken trees to catch Mississippi River bluegills. I've got some great underwater footage to show you and catch some great fish. Stick around, I think you're going to love today's video. Must be a bunch of little ones down there. I'm having a hard time hooking them here. Try and get as vertical as I can in these trees just to try and avoid getting hung up. If you try casting through this stuff, you're almost 100% chance of getting snagged. So I just like to get right up close and personal and, and then just dip around. When I initially drop the camera down, I get some footage of a curious turtle, and I can clearly see there are plenty of bluegill hanging around these trees. Large trees sunken into the river create great habitat for summer bluegills and crappie. Having the camera down allows me to see exactly what types and the quality of fish I'm dealing with. It's time to get a jig down there to see if I can catch a few of these tree-dwelling panfish. There we go. Good one. Nice gill. Bunch of them down there, but uh, they are just not the big ones. Fighter. He is a fighter. There's all kinds of them to be caught down there. Don't even have to move the boat. Just sitting in one spot here and they just school around it. fish fish 
shown. Good one. Catching some great fish. Obviously not not giant bluegills, but it's a blast pulling them out of these trees. Just pitching in there, letting it swing down through the trees. Hopefully not get snagged. And just watch for the tick on your line. And they are in there waiting for it. Oh, I just broke off on something. That might have been Mr. Pike. There's one. Oh, he hit it hard. He hit it hard. That's a good one, too. Nice fish. I just saw my line just jump like crazy on that one. Nice fish. Switched over to a Whistler jig with a little piece of crawler on it. See if we can get a little bigger fish with it. Oh, I think we got a good one here, guys. Oh, he took off on me. There we go. Nice fish. Oh, solid Mississippi River bluegill right there. Nice one. Fighter here. Ooh, another nice bluegill. Really nice fish. Putting that crawler on that jig has really kind of helped me here. I think the fish were looking at the plastic and I was getting some fish, but I think just a little bit bigger profiles getting those bigger fish to bite. That one hit it right away. Now I'm beating them up pretty good. And just using that 132nd ounce Whistler jig, tiny piece of crawler. I'm just casting it up into that tree and they're just hitting it as, it, as I let it drop. There's... I'm just watching my line as Right after I cast, I'm just watching my line as it drops and I see a jump in the line. That fish has grabbed it then, right there. So I'll go slack on that one. There he is. Just the jig just will not get to the bottom without getting eaten. Nice fish. This is working out well. Watch the line. I 
I think that jig is working well because it just falls so nice and slow. Gives them a chance to attack it. Or when I was using that tungsten jig, it was falling faster with that little streamlined plastic on there. And uh, just wasn't wasn't looking as delicious to them when that fell faster. But this is working pretty good. That jig is just falling nice and slow and that propeller is spinning. And they can't resist it. Oh so, yeah. Oof, that one looks like he's a little beat up. Oh, nice looking fish on the drop. Good one. Female fish. Beautiful. Good one. Nice blue go. Nice looking fish. Oh guys, it looks like I got a little bit of sprinkle coming down. It's not gonna stop me from fishing, but I am gonna wrap it up on the pan fishing. Uh, we got some good fish. I showed you a couple different areas, uh, rocks and wood. And uh, both spots that I fished, both the rocks and wood, has a little bit of flow. And just get right up on the structure and just start dipping around with your baits, whether it's worms or plastics, you'll catch fish. Hope you guys enjoyed the underwater footage. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. And uh, go out and try it. Fishing for panfish is fun. You can put some fish in the boat to eat and uh, have a great day doing it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time.